these exercises are for many different types of stroke patients. It is very important not to feel any pain or shortness of breath while doing the exercises. You may feel some stretching and that is good. Take your hand and place it underneath your affected elbow. Then cradle your arms together as such. Make sure not to pull your elbow, but rather gently push your elbow upward while performing the exercise. Gently bring shoulders up towards your ears and relax. Make sure to use your affected side as much as possible. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud to make sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Take your hand and place it underneath your affected elbow. Then cradle your arms together. Make sure not to pull your elbow, but rather gently push your elbow upward while performing the exercise. Slowly move your arms and body toward the right side while trying to bring your right elbow away from your body. Make sure to use your affected side as much as possible. Be mindful to keep your butt on the seat at all times. Hold that position for eight to 10 seconds. Then go back to the starting position and do the same exercise to the left hand side, rotating towards your left side, pulling your left elbow away from your body. Hold that position for eight to 10 seconds. Then return to the middle. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Take your hand and place it underneath your affected elbow. Then cradle your arms together. Make sure not to pull your elbow, but rather gently push your elbow upward while performing the exercises. Then slowly move your affected arm away from your body. Make sure to use the affected side as much as possible. Hold that position for eight seconds. Then go back to the starting position with your arm at your side. Your arm may not go very far, that's okay. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Take your hand and place it underneath your affected elbow. Then cradle your arms as such. Make sure not to pull your elbow, but rather gently push your elbow upward while performing the exercise. Gently bring your affected arm upwards, going at most to about shoulder height, and hold eight to 10 seconds. Make sure to use your affected side as much as possible. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Place your hands together and interlock your fingers. Then slowly straighten out your arms and bring both hands out in front of you. Raise your hands up off the table, stopping at most at shoulder height. Then slowly lower down back towards the table. Make sure to use your affected side as much as possible. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. First, put your hands together and interlock your fingers. Then, bending at your elbow with your elbows resting on a table, Bend towards your chest. Then slowly straighten your elbows, bringing your hands down back towards the table. Make sure to use your affected side as much as possible. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. If this version is too easy, bring your elbows off the table Bend your elbows towards your chest, and then straighten your elbows, bringing your hands towards your legs. Put 
place your hands together and interlock your fingers. Gently move your affected hand backwards, bending at the wrist. Hold for 10 seconds, then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Place your hands together and interlock your fingers. Gently move your affected hand in the opposite direction, bending at your wrist, and your unaffected hand is bending backwards at the wrist. Hold for 10 seconds, and then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, and making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Place your hands together and interlock your fingers with your elbow on the table. Gently move your affected hand so your palm faces the ceiling. Hold for 10 seconds and then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Place your hands together and interlock your fingers. Gently move your affected hand so your palm faces the floor. Hold for 10 seconds and then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting out loud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. First, try to place your hands together as in a prayer position, using the fingers of your unaffected hand to try to hold your affected fingers in a straight position. If that is too challenging, Lower your affected fingers so they are resting on the palm of your unaffected hand, using your palm to help straighten them. Hold for 10 seconds and then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Place your affected hand on a table or other surface with your thumb facing up. Use your unaffected hand to gently move your thumb upwards towards your face. Hold for 10 seconds and then return to the starting position. Repeat the exercise 10 times while counting aloud, making sure not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. We want you to know that you're not in this alone. We are here to help you through it. Each small step is a step in the right direction.